Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Fedora 6 demo. I'm David Wilcox, the program leader for Fedora at Lyricis, and I'm joined by Danny Bernstein, Fedora tech lead. We just wrapped up our third sprint of the year, uh, which had four participants, and the focus for the sprint was implementing messaging, multi-resource transactions, and rebuilding from OCFL. And in this demo, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the meaning of rebuilding from OCFL. So durable and transparent file storage is a key feature of Fedora 6. In previous demos, we've explored how Fedora resources are stored as OCFL objects. And in this demo, we'll show you how you can take an OCFL repository that was created and managed by Fedora, drop a new Fedora application on top of it, and have all of your content instantly available. This works because the entire runtime state of the application is derived from information in the stored OCFL. And this is a new feature that is not available in Fedora 4 or 5. The primary benefit of this rebuild capability is disaster recovery. And so if your repository application fails, you'd actually be able to recover by dropping a new Fedora application on top of the stored OCFL. And so I'll turn it over to Danny to walk through the rebuild demo. Okay, great. Thank you, David. So we'll start with an OCFL repository that I've pre-populated with a few resources, each of which has one or more versions. Um, and let me just uh, share my screen here and we'll take a look at what that looks like. All right, so this is the OCFL repository and without going into the details of the OCFL file format, maybe just I'll note a couple of features here. The archival group, uh, this is a top level resource that has uh, several versions here. Um, and each version has um, uh, some changes to it. And you can see that there are, there's a nested binary resource and there is a, a nested container within that resource. And then I have a container and a binary and then a container within a container. All right, and notice that this nested container here, because it's not a part of an archival group, is living in its own OCFL uh, object uh, sort of space. All right, so let me start up Fedora. Um, and while that's starting up, I'm going to just stop my share for a moment to uh, emphasize a point while that's starting up, which is that uh, there is no application state whatsoever um, outside of the OCFL repository. So we're not relying on other databases that contain stateful information that would be required for Fedora to run. So let me share my screen again. So hopefully you can see the Fedora HTML UI and you'll notice that there are the resources that I was just talking about that were that are in OCFL are now represented here in Fedora. We have a binary resource, we have an archival group with a couple of nested resources, and then we have that container with the nested container. So this is all what you're seeing here is the OCFL file format that has been presented as a through the Fedora API. Um, so what, how did that work? What happened? Um, essentially, when Fedora comes up, it looks for um, a set of Fedora-generated indexes. Um, and if it doesn't find them, it goes about building them. And it does this by essentially iterating through the OCFL. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing here while I explain this. Uh, it iterates through the OCFL uh, repository, pulling out bits of salient information that it needs to build those internal indices. And then, um, and, and, and the purpose for that is to really, to enhance the performance. So we can, we can uh, return resources and, and perform operations much more quickly with those internal indices. All right, back to you, David. All right, thanks, Danny. So this concludes the demo, but you can look forward to more demos in the future as we complete Fedora 6 features. You can join our mailing list to receive updates and sign up for any of our upcoming sprints if you'd like to participate in developing, testing, or documenting Fedora 6. And you can find the links to the appropriate resources in the video description. Thanks.